went to the presidential inauguration, right? I was invited by, uh, we did a VIP thing for the, the vets and went to the veterans ball. And so I went to go see the Democrats and Republicans. Yeah, I went to the inauguration. It was I'm, not, I'm not, I'm not well, attacking I mean, you. You get this out here. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You got to be real careful around here. You know, you get beat up. If you don't believe what everybody believes, this is like... 30s Germany. I don't know what. I don't know what happened. If you're, if you're not part of the group, you know what we believe is right. I go, well, I might have a problem with that. Man, I'm a comedian. I like going on both it's, sides. Yeah. It was a, it was a, this government does stuff big. I've never been to anything like that. Was it, it a big deal? It was, I mean, just so many people. And when they show up, you know, the ex-president gets in a helicopter and there's jets and Marines taking him this way, another, and there's parades. But it looks like a Cadillac parade. Everything was just rows of Cadillacs. And my, my kids were going, is this the parade? It's like black Cadillac after black Cadillac and then a tractor. I don't know what was... <laughs> there's no, like, marching bands. There's nothing... I like parades. I used to like parades, which is a funny off story. I took my little one... She, I'm, I'm not ignorant, but sometimes I play it. We went to see the Santa Monica Parade down in, um, on Santa Monica Boulevard, okay. the gay parade. Oh, okay. I thought I would, when it went to gay, I thought when well, there would be floats and stuff. You don't want to take a five-year-old to that parade. You don't want to... <laughs> I'm standing on it, say, look at the music, and look, it's a fire truck with naked men on it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> it's not... There's no bullwinkle. Well, no, well, there's no... Gay, <laughs> gay pride parades have a different tone uh -huh. than Disney on ice parade. And the th <laughs> there's no ice, for there's one no thing. There's no ice. It's a lot of nude guys on vehicles. It's hard to... So you're talking about, you know, you, well, you do stand-up, you go around, the country is very divided. Yeah. You know, you, you're, do you... Well, like, what are you worried about? I'm worried about... I have, I, have the, I have buddies that are in the security business. I'm a tech freak, so I, I, I have a guy that's got no... He always has battery like cell phones, that batteries come out. Because he tells me this weird story. He says, you put an iPhone down for a week, you shut it off. In a week, it's dead, right? And I go, oh, God, it's not really ever off. He goes, no, it's never off. They always know where you are. And I go, oh, God. I, I get paranoid just from being around this cat. Oh. But one day, I was thinking, if a government drove by down the street with, like, a gray sedan with a camera on it, you'd be rioting, going to Washington. But if it's white with emojis and Google on it, yay, hey, you're waving at it. <laughs> They're taking pictures of your house. <laughs> you right. point. Oh, you're waving at it. Look at that one. Take a picture of my house from the sky. <laughs> There's that camera that looks around your, your block. Who are these people? <laughs> I wanted to put F you on the top of my house. <laughs> have that satellite go, oh, no, no, no. With the... <laughs> Make it, have you ever searched for your own house? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, 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 right. And so I'm out there like, going like this. Like, like, like. <laughs> I did it too, and I was like, "Hey, there's my car." I know it, it's, <laughs> it's a little spooky. That our privacy, you give up. You go, and I like Amazon Prime as much as anybody. You shop for a lot. I wish people would shop for the news as much as we shop for a new pair of glasses. I mean, you got to look for stuff. But Amazon, at the bottom of, they suggest things you might like. You mean yeah. like the stuff I just bought yesterday? <laughs> How did they, why did they, they know way too much about us. I yeah. feel sometimes they send things to my home that I never order. Just to see if you'd like it. And I always like it. It's a weird thing. It's um, like some automatic thing that's going on. I, this was a relational database, and I believe it was the University of Wisconsin about 19 years ago. They started this whole thing where you, they'd give you 10 of the, your favorite movies. And you go, yeah, I like these five. At what degree do you like them? They compare to another five, then they give you 20 more, and then 30, then you get down to 10. At the end of that, about 30 minutes of this, they'll give you five films that you'd love, and I loved every one of them. Really? They sold that to Harrods. That is now the relational database they use on all of us. On Netflix and what? Everywhere. They, once they know your preferences... You know what's funny? Sometimes I get on my Netflix queue, and it says what I might like, and I look at it, and I go, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Because it suggests, like, dumb stuff. Yeah, all the dumb stuff. I'm like, right. oh, they're right. I am an idiot. <laughs> well, it's very good to see you. Where will you be doing shows? When's the next show on Santa Claus? Um... <laughs> the, uh, the Mirage in Las Vegas. The Mirage the, in Las the Vegas. In Las Vegas. The great Tim Allen, everybody. Last night's Friday night's on ABC. Do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel, and you'll finally be happy.